welcome back to Mama C's Texas Kitchen. My name is Keith and today we're going to be making Salsa Verde. But before we do, if you haven't already, please like, share, and subscribe this channel. We really appreciate it. We're getting really close to a thousand, so every little bit helps. Now, I have 14 tomatillos I dumped in hot water, boiling water, and uh, all you gotta do is peel the rattle off. And we're gonna put those in the blender as we do. See how easy these peel off? Tell them the story of your salsa. Yes. I used to make this for a friend of mine uh, named Anthony that passed away couple months ago due to cancer and I'm doing this video in kind of honor of him and also uh, Stringfield Ridge Farms had requested it so double dose it. If Anthony would eat this stuff like it was candy. Those we're going to use four regular tomatoes. I'm using Romas. You can use any kind you want. Um, we're just going to quarter them up basically so they blend better. You need to too, could you blend it down a little bit to make more room in your blender? Yes, that's what I'm going to do here in a minute. And then we'll add the good stuff. How long have you been making this salsa, you think? I've been making this salsa for about at least 20 years. I don't go by a recipe. I think I did when I first started, but I've done it so much now that... For the record, this is too hot for me to eat. Yes. <laughs> it ain't too hard for me to eat. Okay, now, and we're gonna blend this down so make a little more room for everything else in here. Five or habaneros that Missy grew in the garden, and they are really coming through. We're getting peppers every day almost, and she cultivated that from last winter. She winterized it. We thought it was jalapeno plant at first until they started growing the peppers, and they were habaneros. But okay, so I'm using five habaneros, five serrano, and five um, jalapenos. Again, make it to your own taste. If you don't want that many, then don't use that many. It's really easy. We're just gonna kinda... Put gloves on. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. We're gonna put gloves on. Always put gloves on when you're handling peppers. Although I don't always. But you would regret it if you didn't. Okay, now we got our gloves on, we can cut the peppers. You just don't want to put them whole, just kind of slice them up a little bit so they'll blend easier. And of course, don't put stems in there, that's not good. This is the first time we use it had any. Habaneros now, do some serranos. I 
I know this is a lot of peppers, but he would eat this like it's candy. Misty Mama Z can attest to that one. I did it first time as a joke, just because I didn't think he could eat it. He told me to make it hot, so I, I made it hot. And then he'd come back a month later and say, I want more. Crazy thing was, his kids liked it too. Yeah, kids didn't like it. They didn't know any better. <laughs> then when I uh, told him how much peppers I put in it, he was like, "Wow, that's good though." Saved it the big boy for. Now we're going to make it give it all away. Yep. We're going to give all this away because we can't eat it. Okay, I've got about a tablespoon and a half of sugar. Two tablespoons of vinegar, just white vinegar. And about a tablespoon and a half of salt. I'm across the room and I can smell the peppers. Yeah, she can smell them over there. I can smell them here. If it sets off the fire alarm, it's because it catches fire. All right, now we're going to blow it up. And it's our salsa verde. Now, what? Actually, it's not. I forgot the line. Line and cilantro. Oh, you got cilantro too. You want about a... You pulled a Mama Z. Yes, I pulled a Mama Z. For this much, we want a juice of a whole wine. Some cilantro and a little bit of onion too. Give me that your onion for you. Um, yeah, just cut it in strips. Now, the amount of cilantro you use depends on how much you like cilantro. I'm gonna use about this much for that. Hi everybody, I'm a better onion slicer. She is, she's a good onion slicer. It's usually my MO. I'm halfway through something and I'm like, what am I supposed to? Yeah. kind of rushing trying to get everything together and we're actually going to film two videos today and so we were trying to get everything done so we could get through all this so yeah so when you see another video with me wearing that this shirt 
y'all know. All right, there you go. Shift this up. And blend it again. Yay. It wouldn't be Mama C's Tasty Kitchen if we didn't forget one thing or another. Exactly. Jar these up, jar this up, and process it in a canner for 20 minutes. So, we're going to do that and uh, we're going to jar this up, be back with you in just a minute. Alright, we're going to process this now. We got out of that big uh, blender, we got three jars, two and three quarters jars out of it. And here I was thinking we were going to get a lot more than that. Alright, so we're going to process this and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for choosing us. Anyway, bye guys. Love y'all. Thanks for all your support.